It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Raiders and the Niners. And it comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Las Vegas Raiders and the San Francisco 49ers. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. On first and ten, McMahon got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Back to throw. McMahon. Man open left side is Brown. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. First down, McMahon. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. And second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Plus like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Off the play fake. McMahon, they'll roll him out right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. It's just a gain of a couple there on his scramble, and now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. To throw on third down. McMahon, and that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. Here's the Raiders punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And this one hits at the three and then bounces into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff our father time the way that he has. They'll 
run on first down. Craig, and they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. First and ten. Now a give right side. It's Craig looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now they'll throw with Brady. And his throw is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. on second down now they need a big play here third and ten to throw is Brady he finds his man complete it's Craig and past the 40 before he's out of bounds the Charles first drive here but a safe completion underneath maybe get some rhythm get your feet wet so to speak and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Here's Brady. toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and ten. Throwing now is Brady. A throw left side complete to Clark. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. 
They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the open drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On first down, Brady. That'll be caught by Rice. A gain of six there on first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and four coming up. And to give this time to the tailback. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 50 yards rushing for now and just six carries to this point. Can't we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Here we go now on first and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown for the Niners. Taking it in from the yard out. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protected. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Jackson now to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Play 
action. McMahon. Now he's flushed out right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. To throw on second down. McMahon. And his throw here is incomplete. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. McMahon. It's complete to Brown, right side. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Brown, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right to kind of play it into their hands. Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt and the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On first down, Craig. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Coming up on a second and six. Now Brady. The open man is Clark complete. And he's got Ryan. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos yeah. on their backs <laughs> when they were after they caught the football? Some of them would stop and bang out a tune along the way as well. <laughs> but nowadays, these guys are essentially bulked up wide receivers, and they're a full part of the passing game, and we see a lot of big plays as we just saw there. They'll run on first down. It's Craig, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 73 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Mike 50, Mike 50. 
to throw on second and six. Brady looking left side, and he's got him in. That's Rice. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover it for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme. Get a little bit. Touchdown! That's called. Five-yard touchdown. For them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. offense now making their way back out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing on first down. McMahon. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Off the play fake. McMahon. For the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first and 10, McMahon. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll look to throw again. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Operating from the gun, McMahon, and he's got his man in stride, complete. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. 
They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, and a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. On first down, Craig busts through the tackle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a gain of six, and that will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, that's complete to Clark. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They'll run on first down. It's Craig. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Craig. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. From the gun, it's Brady. Oh, going deep here for Taylor. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big third down play there for the Niners. We keep waiting year after year to see signs of Tom Brady's arm strength deteriorating, but his message there, keep waiting. And this offense has really just been humming all game long, so to me, they're just saying, 
We want to finish this one off in the third quarter so we can coast home in the fourth. And this is just a tremendous play, something we've seen time and again from this offense. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw, it's Brady. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Brady to throw. And it's caught. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. This has to go down to one simple amount to the goal ball, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And they'll run again. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The defense of San Francisco marching back onto the field now. And big play last time they were out there. Looked like they might give up points. Instead, they got the fumble recovery, and it led to a touchdown. And on their side of the field, perfect time to get that done. But you're skeptical about it happening because it appeared that a pretty good drive was occurring. They were able to stop it and take the ball and put it in the other direction. Turnover, the defense's best friend. A takeaway, the defense's best friend. On first down, McMahon. He's got Casper over the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, giving different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They run on first down with Jackson. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Looking to throw on second down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Turn with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. From the gun, McMahon. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Craig, and tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The Niners on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. Wide open, that's Clark, they lost him. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Oh, 
very sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. And obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. On second down, it's Craig. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 101 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous. Oh, damn. The kid is like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Brady going to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Now Brady. And he hauls it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. They're going to make the grab. And the 49ers add on to their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Going to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. There's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. McMahon. This is brought in by Casper. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play there for the Raiders. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, 
You may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Back to throw. McMahon firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Only needing two yards on second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Now a throw here, hauled in. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catches. Hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. He's got a man, it's his tight end, that's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big play there for the Raiders. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators, you know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Raiders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Back to throw again. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. And he's got it. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? What do, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're you going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but... They haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders.
out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Niners set to take over on offense. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Right. Yes, get out of there. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost 